Oh man, Calrissian kids, man. We are back. Uh, a very happy pre Thanksgiving Day episode. Yes. yes. Andor, the last episode of season one, episode 12, Ricks with an X Road. Mm -hmm. And man, all spoilers, of course, got to talk about a thing and talk about a thing. Follow at Tony Franchise. You know where we at, hanging with the Joneses, man. And I just want to talk about this as well as the season as a whole. This last episode, Tony, man, like, I was watching this and I was like, yo, I am enthralled. Like, I mean, yo, they did such a masterful job of building and creating meaningful tension. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's something that's been missing in Star Wars is across the board and for a multiplicity of reasons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the the I would say the last time we saw tension like this is probably Rogue One. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, 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 and 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 because it was such on such a grander scale, mm -hmm. it, it, the 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 this being a TV show lends to this type of tension that I'm talking about because it's so it's so personal, right? Yeah. Like the setup is everybody is at Ferrix. Yeah. And we 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 here for um for you know for the funeral of of, of Andor's mom and Marva <laughs> Marva man freaking Marva Andor yo so everybody's expecting her you know what I'm saying um um you know departure from the world they made into a brick which is a, just a great um uh, piece of symbolism you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and. Every, like everybody's there you know what i'm saying yeah. like we yeah. got we <laughs> I, I feel like you're more for snl remember on the bbc dude and we got everything and we got everything <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's got everything mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah. we got um andor came um uh uthin uthin came what's the girl from um dedra miro's there dedra Mirror. Um, cyril. cyril and his homeboy homeboy um um, um veil veil yeah veil's there veil's there she came uh, -huh. uh we got um, a couple more people from um from the empire who came through too mm -hmm. like so many people was there yeah and the setup to this is just it's so good because it also shows you just how because I was, I was looking at this i was like yo like this is just the microcosm of the rebellion and it kind of echo what um the kid who died who got crushed by the credits <laughs> in episode six. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My man. I yeah. forgot little man's name. My, yo. my man, he he wrote the manifesto, and you yeah, saw that yeah. Andor was actually listening, was listening to, to his you know manifesto throughout the um series. Yeah, your, your man made an audio book too. I like yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, a lot of time, you know. Uh huh. Right in and talking. So he, so yeah, so he listened to it, just kind of basically being indoctrinated. Mm -hmm. And understanding what the whole rebellion was, because like he was like, "Nah, man, fam, I'm just here. I'm here to get paid, yo. What the heck, you talking about? Yeah, about no rebellion. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> so, so you know. So yes, exactly. G <laughs> give me my money, yo. Give me my money. So he he's listening to to the manifesto, and you see just how this these peoples on this planet mm -hmm. essentially are just getting tired of the empire. Uh huh. And it just so massively comes together, man. Yeah. Go on, go on. I'm sorry. I'm been talking too long. No, you good, man. So, so it starts off with you know, like the kid who worked in that shop, and his father. I guess his father's dead now. Oh yeah, whatever. definitely dead. Yeah, definitely yeah. They could, dead. They could have now, been like, they been like three episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. So that was the guy that they um first that you saw that um Bix first saw being dragged out because he was being tortured. He's looking at like a hologram of his father. He's building something, and the whole time I was like, "My man building the bomb." Like, <laughs> That's oh, all yeah. I kept saying. I was yeah, like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He's Yo, my man is a, my man is building the bomb, and he, and he had the I'm building a bomb looking face. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just saying, he had the look on his face like I'm building the bomb, and I'm going to blow all these mofo's up for killing my father. <laughs> What? I, am I lying, Rashad? He, nah, he had, had he had the face of terrorism, yo. He, yeah, he really you're right. He, he had, you know, say so he had like the face of. I am about to end everybody. And the fact I, that he looked already looked like a uh, low key Middle Eastern too was like, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was kind of, yeah, yeah. So he had he had the face of terror, a terrorism, and you know, 
And then, and then, and you just see cut flashes of everything that's moving, all the moving parts in Ferrix. You see De Dedra, who's like, so everything's in order? All right, cool. Like, she's like, whoo, she's like, if I finally get this motherfucker, or whatever, like, yeah, you know, I'm going to prove my point. I and then you see, like, um, and then you see, like, Andor's homeboy, who's like, you know, he sees, and they, they have a conversation and everything. You see Andor, he goes to the, um, I guess the garage that um, Big used to work at. I don't know if that's yeah. her father or somebody that knows her. And he's like, "Yeah, they, they got her, bro." And he's like, "What do you mean they got her?" Like, "Yeah, they they got. They've been doing some stuff to her, you know. They got her." And so that's when Andor is like, "Yeah, we yeah, gonna we get, get her. we got to get her out of there or whatnot." And then you see like Veil vale come and she sees her girl Senna or whatever. And and you know what's funny. Vale is just proving more and more to me that she really ain't about that life. Nah. She really ain't. She, she's basically what Sudan said to her, why, what, five episodes ago? Yeah, I'm not a rich girl playing playing this. I live this. You know, she gets that. All she wants to do is boo love and hug up on her, her thing. Like, hey, how's it going? And she's like, okay, yeah. And you see that Sudan's sort of like putting stuff together. And she's like, oh, he's not, not over here saying thing too but she's like yeah okay you here like but you know like yeah you here like, like yo i seen this empire dude he's i know he's by isb and he's been the yeah. whole time like i'm trying to focus on what he's doing he's walking around with another person who came uh -huh. from isb like this other yeah. upper rank like she's all about playing yeah. schematics and we got yeah. to figure this thing out luther's coming i ain't trying to um you know right do him wrong luther's going luther will kill you you know what i'm saying right. so and she know instead of the figures out that they're there to kill Andor, and it seems as if she ain't cool with that a woman bit because she's nah, just, not really. Yo. She, she no. don't seem like she's cool. Like we gonna kill this dude. Like he's the reason why everything went as well as it did on the on the heist. This is what we this will we going after. All right, bet. Then you see like Cyril arrive with his boy, and they switch hats or whatever. I'm thinking maybe he put some credits in this his boy hat to help him out or something. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever. It was, it was, it was funny though. It was like yeah. it's like because he was like, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. And then you go back to the um, the ISB base, and they have caught um. Eleven. They, my boy's back. You know? Yeah, my dude's back. <laughs> and apparently, you know, the um plan to um let my man, my man Anson, go down for Anton Krieger. Yeah. Krieger go down. It goes down without a goes down perfectly or whatever. And Dedra's like on the line and she's like mad. She's like, well, I ain't know nothing about this. And they was like, you ain't need to know. All. Don't forget, Blevin basically hired um, my mother's driver because my yeah. mother and her husband was talking and yeah. he was eavesdropping because basically, uh -huh. um, you know, your, your boy out here, you know what I'm saying, with the with, with the legal gambling. The legal <laughs> of gambling. Course, huh? and, and my mom was like, yo, like, how are you even getting this money? Because I know you broke, boy. I know you yeah, broke, boy. You broke. I got all the money. We ain't got no yeah. money for real. So I'm trying to lay him myself. I'm trying to smuggle money out here. Like, how do you get money to gamble? You know and he like, and she's like, you know what? I don't even want it. And he was like, I'm telling you, whoever told you that, he just said, somebody's lying. And she was like, that's one thing we both can agree on. Somebody is lying. And she was looking at <laughs> yo, she was looking at that dude like, oh my God, you are so trash. Let's just wrap her little arc up real quick. What do you know, mama? Because it wasn't a whole lot. You saw mm -hmm. her driver was eavesdropping, giving um information over to my man. But then you see that she basically concedes to oh, she's, uh, my mother sold her soul for the sold her soul, her, you know, for her rebellion. Daughter. Her daughter, you know, say her daughter, you know, to meet with this guy's kid. But here's the thing: the daughter is all about it, though. So I think so that's the it, only. It was a. It's, it, it worked out for her. Right, right. It, it worked. worked out. It's like she didn't want her daughter to go through what she went through, but when she saw like how her daughter is being like a, a religious zealot about the ways of um Zandrilla and all that stuff, she was like. I don't want to do this, but yo, if my daughter is about that life for real like this, then hey, you know what I'm saying? No harm, no foul. And this and is and, and, and this is what this is. It's mm -hmm. basically um I heard somebody say this and it made sense to me. It's like neoconservatism. So you know how um like you get to like a very 
moderate place and then you go to like very much liberal and then the okay. pushback is that is that pendulum swing back to the very conservative hence like mm -hmm. america in like the mid to late 90s when mm -hmm. the republicans made abortion their calling mm -hmm. card for mm -hmm. for everything and they put like you know they added christianity heavily mm -hmm. in, in, in into the political machinations mm -hmm. also how you have the person who is playing into the neoconservatism but really doesn't care anything about it and that's um drug law couture um what's the dude's name i can't remember his um, name um, i can't think his name yeah, yeah. whatever his he, name he, is he's the money guy you know that's what we would call yeah, the money so, guy. yeah so, so 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 the money guy is leaning into that knowing he doesn't mm -hmm. care about it but he's going to use that mm -hmm. at, as his advantage and those would be the people who are funding all these super PACs and yep. funding these people because the interests yeah. It's essentially just capitalism. Yeah. Is, you know, you know saying that, that yeah. So like basically the what what works out for them is is what's best is what's best for them. And they don't really care about what the heck is going what the heck is going on, you know. Yeah. So so that's my Mothma's thing. You know, it ends with her, you know, her daughter, um, and her husband meeting up with um, you know, what I'm saying money guy and his wife and his kid, and the wife and the daughter's just smiling, like oh, she is so she happy. Is so happy. And, and, and you know, like what I mean, like she hates her mom. The fact that she looked back at her, like, yeah, this is going on. Yeah. And then my mom just looks at, like, wait, so she looks away and looks at her, like, you don't even know what you're about to you do. You have no, no idea what's going on here, dumbass. That's what she wanted. Yeah. To, yeah, that's like she wanted yeah, to say. Yeah. Stupid yeah. Child. So, so, you know, let's just get right into the meat of things. Yes. So, you know what I'm saying? The, the Empire in the hotel, and they're saying, like, everything's playing. This is what it's supposed to be. This is when it's supposed to start. This and that. Blah, 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 so, blah, yeah, blah, the asses through this at noon. We delayed it two hours. We told them to yeah. be a max of 30 people. Right. We told them max of 30 people. It's going to, this the route they got to take and all this good stuff right here. That Empire and their mind are like, we got it. We're going to get this guy, whatnot. Andor knows everyone's looking for him. So, he's just like, yeah, okay. And he's like basically hangs in the sewers and then like the building grooves the whole time. Then all of a sudden, Empire's like, yeah, we got this. And then my man, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Before that, um, um, your girl was like, When are we gonna know it starts? He said, When you hear the ringing, and then right as soon as that happens, right? That's right. Like, when, you know, <laughs> when you start, when they um start hitting the um, the ringing, the anvil stuff, all right, bang, <laughs> what the <heck>? bang. <laughs> she was like. <laughs> I thought you said, and they were like, I, I don't know, whatever. And so you see that they're in their traditional um, Phoenix garb or whatever, because yeah, yeah, like that. Because Marva they're... was a daughter of Phoenix, and they say apparently she was a president at one point, like a long-standing president with them and everything. And um, yeah, and so they start the parade of you know, say they start the parade of the um funeral, and the Empire scrambling like, yo, what? I thought you said, and then they realized it's not starting at the place they thought it was going to start at. Nah, the, your, fan, your man was like, yo, they are coming from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, a part I know Rashad got excited about, I did too. Saw a Star Wars band. Yo, <laughs> I, you know what I <laughs> yo, you know how real this was, yo? Yeah. It was out there warming up. Yeah, and that like, was out there and I, I appreciate that so much. Like, yeah. you gotta be playing for a good fifteen minutes. You gotta get the chops ready. You know what I'm saying? Right, gotta get the chops. So, so me personally, I got excited because yes, I'm a brand nerd on top of that. But then too, um, from through my grandfather's side of the family, I have a lot of New Orleans roots. So they basically did a second line. They did. For, they you know, did. What I'm saying? a second line. For that was them, a second know? line, yo. So you know, I, you know, me, you know, saying me seeing that, I felt I got real happy and excited. About about you know saying That's about a good point, that. Tony. Thanks, man. I, I try my best. <laughs> you know, That's so a good point. so you know, there was leading them in, and then like even before it started and everything, um, Andor's homeboy who worked at the um who worked at the yard was like, Hey, yo, you go get your girl, I'm going to handle the funeral, you know, handle the funeral. And he was the one holding the brick that had Marvel's remain, you know, her her ashes in the brick that they was gonna add to the building, and like you see these people coming, and I mean, it basically was like the entire town. Yeah, everybody um, was there. Also, too, I got upset when you had the trash dude, the, the black dude that was oh, being yeah, trash. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he was on trash the first episode, Yeah, he too. was on trash the first episode, too. He got what was coming to him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too bad, so sad. Goodbye, you gone. But yeah, he was being trash. About looking, like, looking like the black dude from, um, from, from, 
from that on Futurama, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you who he was looking like for real. For he was like a a thick ass Pookie from um New Jack City. That's what he was looking like for real. He was looking like Chris Rock wearing about two fifty or so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Like a, that's this thick ass pookie right here <laughs> coming through this tank, yo. So, you know, the funeral is going and Andor's making his way into, you know what I'm saying, that hotel. And in the meantime, everyone is just, con- you know what I'm saying, converging on where the funeral is. And the Empire sees, like, oh, snap, 30 people. This is the whole town yeah. out here. In and they the- super <laughs> nervous. They're like, yo, they- d- <laughs> double time, yo. Man, right. Y'all need to show of show, show, yeah, show strength. Show force. We show yeah. strength. Yeah, your little bit of strength y'all had out there was nothing compared to what was going on. And so they get, I guess, to what would be considered, I guess, the square or else just an opening in the town area. Yeah, like right away where the hotel and stuff is. Like It's basically right like, by the, the hotel. Like, like the middle of the town. Yeah, middle of the town. And so then... Um, God, I keep forgetting that robot name. Um, B2 Emo. Yeah, B2 Emo comes, is like leading along with um with Cassian's homeboy. And then it's a giant hologram-like projection of Marva. And she's basically giving like her own eulogy, which, and, you was, know, like, oh. which was dope. And she's just like, well, <laughs> you know, y'all know. What this mean, basically? <laughs> I'm dead, I'm, baby. I'm dead, baby. <laughs> but you know, and she's just talking about, you know, you know, she's going to, this is kind of weird for her to do this, you know, but she's going to miss her family and all this. But then she starts talking about, you know what I'm saying, the trash that is the empire. She's Pause. pause. Before we get to that, yeah. you got to get to where, um, where um, Andor meets up with his homeboy at the bottom, that little sewer. Uh, uh, under the hotel, and, yeah. Um, and your boy was like, "Yo, your mom told me to tell you that, like, it's okay." She's yeah. Upset, mm-hmm. and that um, whatever it's not your you, fault, it's not your fault, and what, what and, and whatever you did wrong doesn't outweigh my love for you. I was like, Pfft. right, right. Ooh. And also, too, when <laughs> Andor first got back, he saw the brick of the guy. I guess you could say that's kind of like his father yeah, figure. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The black dude yeah. as well. So, you know, that was kind of a... You saw a flashback of him teaching him a few things as well. So that was kind of, you know, a nice little moment there as yeah, well. It still was basically still talking about how, like, it's this real funny, like, message about um, just about waste. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 about like not trying almost, to find a new thing, you know. Yeah, almost like, like one man's trash is another man's treasure type. Yeah, thing very much. Yeah. You, and and it ties back into when he was um with the um the little rebellion group on Aldani. Uh-huh. And Bob was like, "Nah, this is what we need." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's mechanical. You can fix it. Yeah, you know yeah, they, yeah. They want you to buy the new thing. Is the break yeah. you can't fix. It. So there's a real some undertones about you know about about yeah. um. Sustainability, yeah, right, 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 good, and, and minimalism, so as well. So, you know, while that's going on, you know, what I'm saying Marvel's giving her, you know, her eulogy, her holographic eulogy, what's going on. Andor's made his way into the hotel, he goes into the kitchen first, and he sees somebody. And the guy was like, Oh, hey, what's going on, man? And because he, he knew Andor, what that he was like, He was like, Hey, where's big? He was like, Oh, she, she that way, yo, man, I'm sorry about your mom, yo. Like, that's the respect that she had that people have mm-hmm. for Andor as well. Andor finally finds Vic, and she's like, basically, she's done, yo. She's Vic like, shell shocked, yo. She's shell shocked. It, it's like she barely believes it's him or whatever. And like, he's like, yo, let's go. And she's like, nah, I ain't trying to go. Cause, cause she, I guess she was scared of the repercussions. They got caught, you know, saying, keep going through that, you know what I'm saying, that torture. So then on top of that, so like I said, you got the, hologram of um marva still going and she's talking and she's like man this is one thing i want y'all to do i want y'all to <laughs> fight she said she said in fact she said if i could do it all over again i'd fight those bastards and she yo, she said i fight listen when an old person oh, calls somebody a bastard. bastard you know they miss i fight that, that bastard of them bastards and you saw that like empire was like oh snap no Hey, and yeah, the, whoop, whoop, let's cut this and, right here. And, and the four um four bar boy was like, oh, no, 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 no. this is it. So <laughs> he goes, he tried to blanket um between emo with his with his jacket. Uh-huh. But it's stupid. It's a projection. It shines yeah. through the jacket. So right. he just 
So he just kicked B2 Emo yeah. over. I was like, yo, did he have to kick B2 Emo over? Like, they just said. It was like. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> look, look, like, lay down, little boy. And, and, oh, and, here, and, and here's the thing that's, that always happens, even in um, real world society. You never disrespect a culture, something that's cultural to people. And you just sat there and you straight up disrespected a funeral, a cultural funeral, a cultural <laughs> funeral at Phoenix. And you didn't think anything was going to pop off? Hmm? Yo. We didn't know it was going to pop off? So, so as on the, <laughs> as the dude, um, the Empire calls, calls the big man, he saw throwing, saw throwing people, yo. Yeah, and then, and then your boy, you know what I'm saying? AKA Emerson, because it's funny, right? Because the dude catches eyes when he's like, yo, what is this kid about to do? And uh-huh. he's back at him, and he just says, launches, <laughs> blows up. And then on top of that, these fools just got a bunch of detonators just yeah. on the side. It just shoot, it just proves, it just proves the point just how disorganized they really mm-hmm. were. Yeah. And all of them explosions just kind of this get detonated at the same time. So yeah. it's just mad explosions going off. Your boy in in in, in the in the hotel that that um, you know that rattling everybody, he is dying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of other yeah. people die. And then the next scene is like one of the dopest scenes when Vel sees what's going on. And she just runs mm-hmm. into all the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, it was just some 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 yeah. visually stunning things going on. This also, while all that's going on, even before that goes on, everything the big thing happens. You got your boy Simple Cyril. He sees Dedra walking. He's oh, be, be still, my heart. He's like trying to walk through there. Like, hey, yo, back up, bro. You know what I'm saying? He sees her and he's all smitten and in love and everything. <laughs> and then. Goes. And then, and then she <laughs> goes. <laughs> and so after, and so after the bombs explode, smoke everywhere, whatnot, and the and the uh, empire's like, yo, open fire, help, 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 shoot everybody out there, <laughs> help, and, you know, and and Dedra out there with her nice pristine white trench coat on. She got caught. They got yo, her, and they was they go. They, yo, they was about to about to mob <laughs> some her out. Yo, yeah, and I, was about like, I was like, yeah. get her. I was like, get her. But then simple Searle, he he gets her up, and he's behind her with a gun. Keep moving, keep moving. He's acting like he's one of the people. Throws her in a closet, and she's looking. And turns around and sees it's him, and she's like, "What you? What? You like you again? Like?" And your boy says. I knew you were in trouble. <laughs> I knew you were in trouble. Like, I was like, yo, I said, please don't have these fools kiss. Please don't have these fools kiss or whatever. Luckily, they didn't show them kissing, but she had like, this look yo, like, he I, loves me. I should I thank you. I, I, right. I and your man hit me with the, you. you don't have to do that. You don't have like, to do oh that. Oh, my God, yo. Yeah. This, yeah, dude's, just, about, this dude's about to get the draws off, off, off of a tragedy, yo. That's yeah, crazy. Right. <laughs> Right, because he saved her, yo. So, so right. yeah. So I'm, I'm glad we didn't revisit them. But yeah, yeah. And then, and then even Luther sees the Nazis. And Luther's like, "Yep, I'm out of here, Jack." Yo, <laughs> you know, you know what's even funnier than that? What? When we see Luther, Luther is looking from like a half mile outside the city. <laughs> he was like, mm, nope. Dude, Luther was know. like, you know what? This ain't guess, my ministry. I'm out of here. <laughs> I guess we ain't gonna end on the day. All right, John. <laughs> right. We'll, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. So he ain't saying nothing. He hasn't said anything so far. So I guess we, we should be good. Yeah. And so you know, by this point, you know, um, Andor's homeboy, the guy that worked with um Biggs and like um Bomb Boy and other people, they got a ship and they're like, yeah, hey, we we about to get out. This is ain't right here. And Andor comes with big. That was like, oh, hey, you know, like people like did was like kind of surprised, but my man already knew. He was like, yo, get her out of here. And even uh, <laughs> the emo was like, you here? He was the robot was so excited, like you you here? He was like, oh, you not you not coming? <laughs> he was like, you not coming? He was like, hey man, I need you to take look after her. You know, I always find you. And he was like. You say that all the time. And that was it. Bro, like, <laughs> they, they, they look, he got me at that point. I was yeah. like, oh. Yeah, man. Oh, man, yo. Yeah, so I'll you... find y'all. I was like, Zach, man. He's going to yeah. die, too. Yeah, right. 
So they all make their escape except for um and except for Andor. Andor, you know, he's he leaves them there. And then I guess some time it passed and you see hold on, that- hold on, before we get before we get to the end it, um uh-huh. um Val and and and, and um and Senna uh-huh. end up um <laughs> packing up shop. <laughs> yeah. He said, man, we know take everything, yo. Take, take everything. Take, she was like, what about the closet? She was like, I already got all that already stuff packed, already. Yo. It's on, already packed. We, Again, we, we you ain't on job. I've been on job. Right, I've been on drive for real. So, you know, they 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 bat like, yo, we out of here. And so then, you know, you see Luthen makes it back to his ship and he's like, yeah, well, let's get on up out of here. But he knows something ain't right. And even the little robot, the ship is like, <laughs> it's just looking around. And he turns around and he sees Andor. And he's like, oh, hey. And Andor, <laughs> Andor's like, so, man, you can't hit to kill me, yo. You can't hit to kill me. He said, here, let me make this easy for both of us. No, the fact that he was said, you, you, you make it real hard. <laughs> I beg it real hard. <laughs> It's what like, response is that, yo? It was like, you came here to kill me. Yeah, you make it real hard. It was like, well, let's make this easy for both of us. It was like, go ahead and kill me. And, he, and Luther was like, wait, wait a minute, what? What? Wait, wait, what? He was like, kill me. And he was like, hey, man, what are you playing at, yo? Like, what, what you mean? Just kill, like, you just, you 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 really to die for this? And he was like, at least like, there's the gun right there. Kill me. He says, because this is what's happening. Either you're going to kill me or you're going to turn me in. Take your choice. And then you just have a stare down. And then it fades to black. And you're like, oh, really? This is how we going to end it? So they left it at a cliff angle. Of course, we know Andor was going to survive whatever happened. Because Yo, what man, happened. It, like, it just was a really good ending to a, yeah. to a really, really solid season. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Really like, um, go Post ahead. Credits. Post credit scene. It was a post credit scene. Yeah, I didn't even see it. What was the post credit? Okay, I you want me to say it? Him. Yeah, it's him. all right. So the post credit scene is basically, um, you're in space and you start seeing some of those parts that look very familiar from a certain prison, and they're building. Basically, those parts were used to build the Death Star. Oh, okay, I, so I, you I see, figured, I figured. So you much. see, like little rope, like look, like those robots that were in, um. God, Book of Boba Fett that were building that, that, yeah, that was yeah, building. Yeah, you see yeah. like robots similar to that, like building and putting together. And you see like the main, the main part, the main globe of the Death Stars together. But that part that the part from the were like the reflector shield, like the shooting, the part from the cannon and stuff like that. You saw that was kind of being put together. So yeah, that was like a post-credit scene that that came there, man. But like, cool. hey man, a solid show all the way around. I wasn't um as I've said it many times, I wasn't sure about this when I first heard it was going to come out. I was like, who asked for an Andor movie? I'm glad whoever did ask for it. <laughs> I'm glad for whoever did ask for it because we got it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it and um interested to see what season two is going to bring us because, like I think you said, Richard, it's going to be two seasons of this. Yeah, um, it's, it's going to be a time jump, too. Uh, of this or whatnot, so... And it's just good to see like the inner workings of how the the imp not the empire but the rebellion start. And you saw they start saying terms like the spark that starts, you know, the rebellion kind of similar yeah, the to flame, what happened, the you flame know, you know, you know, and, yeah. and stuff like that. So you you know to see that, and then also, like I said, we've said before, we already knew the empire was trash, but to really see a ground level of how trash the empire is was just you know, was just crazy. Like war crimes out the wazoo for real from the it's, empire. It man. was like, and, and like, and on the recap for me, <clears throat> going back and just kind of just thinking about this whole series was, it doesn't really matter who you are in this universe. Mm-hmm. Like you can be affected by the same thing that somebody in the outer rim can be affected by as well. Mm-hmm. And no, uh, and it's it, it just it just goes to show you how how small factions of things can create this more cohesive unit mm-hmm. known as the rebellion come, you know, basically right after um, Rogue One because yeah. all, like all these factions really don't come, really don't truly come together yeah. until Rogue One. Right. Everyone you see is a cog in the in the um, grander machine. 
in the, yes. in the grand scheme of the machine. Everyone is a cog. Everyone has, you know what I'm saying, has their part. <laughs> to take a turn from Game of Thrones, everyone has their part for the war to come. <laughs> Shoot. For the yes. wars to come, you know what I'm saying, for the war to come. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, but very, like I said, real solid series. Um, if you can, if you can get through what episode, what's episode what, four, four and five, four, four and five, and then maybe like one more episode somewhere I, I, I in the later. Pretty, I was pretty cool yeah. with the rest of the episode. Yeah, pretty but cool. But four and five, four and five, them joints yes. was like, it, honest, I understand like as a yeah. as a whole what they were doing. Yeah, but watching them like at and like you know real time, I said, yo, this could have been one episode, but but I got it because it was yeah. trying to build some um again tension, build tension. You know what I'm saying, and this yeah. this this series as a TV show works really well. Like they made very compelling television. Like it didn't mm-hmm. feel like like um they were trying to make a movie and they broke it up into pieces. It's kind of, kind of how like um how same as the same as that series came out. Uh, da, 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 da. Book of Boba Fett. After that. <clears throat> Obi-Wan felt to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I think Obi-Wan would have been better as a movie. Because it originally was supposed to be a movie. And it true. basically took yeah. the script and just reworked it and just broke mm-hmm. it up into yeah. like six episodes. So yeah, mm-hmm. this really worked well as a, as a TV series. And like even like you early on when they announced it, because they, they announced this early. Yeah, they, you what, two years they, ago? They, yeah, they, when they announced the, the slate for what's coming for, um, for Disney+, Plus. Mm-hmm. They announced this with all of that. And I was like, yeah, Andor. Yeah. You know, and then when I started to see, like, you know, Tony Gilroy was going to be on it and then he's going to be writing it, you know, mm-hmm. help writing it with, with his writing partner, writing partner. I was like, well, he 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 did come in and, and did a decent job with Rogue One. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, basically, it took over at, at the Gareth Edwards. Mm-hmm. And um, who... Yeah, who I think we um discredit a whole lot because like he basically yeah. made a whole movie and they just reworked it. But yeah. um anyway, <laughs> yeah um yeah I mean so you know guys just you know comment leave stuff how you feel about the series or whatnot. Um I'm I think the next Star Wars thing to come out is next year. I think we start off with Bad Batch if I'm not mistaken. We do Bad Batch so it comes in I think january february yeah january february you know what i think it might be the third week third second week in in january if i'm not mistaken yeah i'm about to check right now yeah so bad batch and then after you know how many episodes it is of the bad batch then we um by the i think in july june july is when we will get um book of um not book of book with fat lord we will get mandalorian <laughs> we'll get mandalorian season three because you know we had mandalorian as i call it book of boba fett was Mandalorian season two point five? As I like to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as I like to refer to it. All right, so we get um Bad Batch starts um January January fourth. So far, first week of hey, first week of the new year. Let's Mandalorian go. starts in February. It's not like there's no release date yet. Uh huh. Um. Then we're gonna get basically Ahsoka next year. We're gonna get Star. Oh, Wars. Ahsoka. Okay. We're gonna get Star Wars Skeleton Crew. I'm gonna get that next year. What is that? I've, I've that's 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 the series with um Jew Law, and he's gonna have like some kids basically with him. It's mm-hmm. almost it's gonna it's gonna be like very um kin to like the the Goonies or like um like Stranger Things in Space. Okay, gonna have like they're gonna be going on going on adventures, adventures and, stuff. and stuff. Okay, it could be a little probably a little scary, whatever. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's gonna be like kind of like that. Okay. Um, and then after that, you know, it's just the act. If I'm, yeah, oh, that's the one I really can't wait for. I want to know what that is all about. And then too, if I'm not mistaken, I think in 24 is we're going to get the first new movie in the Star Wars franchise. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Is that like, the, and is that the one? Is that Taika Waititi's? Um, it should be Taika's. Yeah, if um, if, Taika. if if he finish right, if he finish writing it. Yeah, and they saw pre production. Then we'll pro- we'll get that like you know um, Christmas release. Yeah, Christmas. But um, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I'm not even. I don't even think that he finished writing it yet. That's what he said. Yeah. But you know, Ty could be like joking and lying all the time too. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he could have. Like, like, yeah, hey man, I'm, I'm still got, I haven't haven't done it yet. 
Then a week yeah, later, yeah, yeah. Get a, then a week later, you get a cast egg or a trailer. You're like, what the fuck? yeah, yeah. We got, we got, we we got full script cast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole nine. But yeah. yeah, so I'm if, hmm, yeah, we'll see. 2023 is going to be interesting year for Star Wars. I feel like it's yes. going to be a very transitional year. Yes, and I'm hoping that they realize with Andor that mm-hmm. you can have very different aspects of the universe and people will respond to it yeah the second thing that they need to do when they do this is they need to properly push it um i think yeah. they didn't really push ando like that there was some yeah since the people saying like and then for me i've seen this too mm-hmm. like the episode will drop and it's not the first thing on a disney plus marquee at the time yeah yeah it'd be like the second or third on the scroll i'm like yo but i gotta yeah. use i can whatever it is that's coming out. Damn, I and even it. and even with Tales of the Jedi, they didn't really push, they didn't push that. that either. And they didn't really the push Jedi that was either. It was good. just it just I just opened up Disney Plus and it was there, and I was like, oh, you're not gonna say nothing about this? Okay, cool. Like I knew it was coming, but I just forgot exactly when. Yeah. So Disney, man, Disney, Disney Lucas Films Division, whatever. Hey, man, step up y'all promotion on yeah, this I, stuff, got, man. Yeah, I do real. a better job of doing this. And, and, yeah. and they're supposed to um throw um. Throw Andor on, on on other streaming too. Supposed to throw oh, for it. yeah, the first couple episodes on like Hulu oh, and okay. on, on on something else as well. So okay. I, I'm thinking that they're trying to do like a like an alternate route to get people more people watching the show. So you know, okay. hopefully they'll, they'll learn from their mistake. Yeah, but yeah, that's really it for this man. Like, um, mm-hmm. we will be back uh, probably next week. Next, we're gonna um, we, yeah, we're gonna um recap um. Um, what I'm talking about MCU Phase Four. MCU phase four. <laughs> I was struggling, MCU yo. Phase four, we're gonna yeah. Recap MCU Phase Four, and um, uh, man, we're gonna um, we're gonna do we're gonna do some list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're gonna do some list, man. But that's I, I'm uh, not I'm not gonna do it this week time, Rashad. I did <laughs> what? What I did was uh, things that I didn't like. <laughs> I'm not I don't know, the last the last video we did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna yeah. do that this. Yeah, uh, thank you, man. Um. Yeah. We might disagree on that. But anyway, I yeah. um yeah, that's all we got, man. I hope you guys have a great holiday. Man, be yes. safe, man. Be safe out um, here, man. Yeah. Love your people, yo. And then yeah. the tragedy happened out in Chesapeake, man. Like yeah. you definitely Chesapeake, Virginia, yeah. You know, shout out we, to we we live in the area of seven cities, yeah. so that was <sighs> senseless, man. Senseless, but yeah, senseless violence, man. Senseless so y'all violence. love each other, man, and take care of each other and happy Thanksgiving to all, bro.